One of the important features of Fun Textic is that it uses three key moments to generate a professional text animation. The first one is the start of the animation. Then the middle part is when the text falls in the screen so we can read the message. This is the screen position. And finally, the exit of the text, which is the end of the animation. To see where they are located along the duration of the element, we need to enable the OSC Guides button. This button displays the on-screen timeline running along the top of the viewer window. When you move the timeline marker below, the on-screen timeline shows a circular mark that moves along as well. This indicates where exactly those key moments are depending on the length of your element. The key moments of the animation are color-coded. The beginning of the element is indicated by the yellow dot on the left side, and that corresponds to the start position, also color-coded in the parameters. The value of the start parameters can be saved or loaded in the form of presets. The next section is the screen position, indicated in the on-screen timeline with two blue dots connected with a blue line. This is where the text lands on the screen, and we have some time to read the text message. This section corresponds to the parameters for the screen position, also color-coded in blue. The value of the parameters here can also be saved or loaded by using the corresponding preset menu available on the screen. The final section is the end. And just like the other sections, this one is color-coded in red, just like its corresponding parameters, and there is a corresponding preset menu as well. Whenever you want to make changes to a specific section, you need to move the timeline marker to the color-coded section to make sure that you are able to see any modifications you do when you use the parameters or the presets. Let's say that I want to make changes to the end section. In that case, I need to move the timeline marker to the end. So the on-screen circular mark is also at the end of the timeline. Enable the end parameters to edit and see the modifications in real time while the changes are made. If my timeline marker was somewhere else, then I would not be able to see the modifications of the end parameters in real time because my timeline marker is not where it is supposed to be. If this happens to you, make sure that you move the timeline marker to the corresponding section you're trying to modify. Next, the blue section or the screen position, color-coded in blue, corresponds to the blue parameters. These are the screen position and the effects for the screen position. These are two sets of parameters of the same section. The effects provide additional animation to the screen position, while the screen position parameters modify the placement and orientation of the text element. As you can see, the on-screen timeline is very important to identify the exact location of the key moments of the text animation and it will help you during the preparation of your preset setups or general modifications of your animation.